Benga songstress Princess Julie, popularly known for her hit song Dunia Mbaya, today lives in abject poverty. Now, the song Dunia Mbaya propelled her music career at a time when the country had declared HIV and AIDS a national disaster. She's now requesting the government to reward her efforts for playing a big role in educating Kenyans about HIV and AIDS back in the 90s. Michelle Ngele with that story. Legendary songstress Princess Julie, born Lillian Auma Aoka, tends to her home in Bondo Nyironge. She is popularly known for her hit song, Adunia Mbaya, which buoyed her music career, propelling her to fame. The Adunia Mbaya tune recorded at a time when the country had declared HIV AIDS a national disaster. The song was so popular that she was named Kisima Awards Benga Artist of the Year in 2003. During her music career, the Queen of Benga staged various shows across East Africa besides touring several European countries between 2001 and 2007. <laughs> Switzerland, Italy, Holland, lakini wudi kuhisi hivi. Kwa sababu ya serikali yetu wa Kenya, ata angalisi nini wanamsigi. Sijui ni nini. Princess Julie was also part of the Divas of the Nile supergroup that featured four Kenyan female musicians. Siku moja meenda nathala na chingabura na zusa na uyo masimaira. Awa likuwa mekarvisa vile muwana vile mekarvisa Obama. Na waskari nini nini. Na sirikali yeta ta juu yawa natoka hapa naenda wapi. Kukufenda kwa airport naenda na minsi yako. Ukufika kandege kuwenge pale, sirikali na kujirinda visuri wasi mwendo. Eh, sasa, takuwa me hapa nikata kama one man. Takuwa na chain na hii maisa yangu. Kurudi Kenya, unakuja kuyandu, kusuka airport, napanda two bus. The songbird's life, however, took a 360-degree turn when her husband passed on in 1997, after which piracy drove her out of business. Piracy, I'm Melissa Manamziki. Memory card. Sasa naomba serikal, usaidia sisi, tukumbuke wanamziki. Swali na kufa kama maskin. Naomba tu serikal. Piracy. Friends and family abandoned her when her pockets ran dry, she says. Julie now works as a casual laborer in a gold mine in Komito, Migori County. Mirikal wa Kenya ata angalia mimi. Ata hapa likuwa na isi chief wa juu ni Princess Julie yako wapi. Ata OCSA hii area. Ata chief. Ajui. Sinya kanyaka hii ata buma yangu. Na salime tu kwa mpita Julie ya bari ya subuhi. Ni Julie siyo yeye. Ngira nasema ni yeye. She says she sometimes walks to the gold mine 30 kilometers away from her home where she earns 300 shillings a day. Sitting on a three-legged stool in a tattered lesso, Princess Julie narrates how in her heydays she lived in Nairobi's South Sea estate. She however had to move from Nairobi to her rural home in Bondo Nyironge, Suna West sub-county when her fortunes dwindled. <laughs> Hata, hata wabunge, hata kuingia kwa bunge, hawezi kuingia kwa mbo ya msiki. Na kama watu nataka watu, kwa campaign, anatumia sisi. Kusa tumia, kusa pita, umeza hau. Hata kupigia simu, hata chukli. She now wants the state to reward her efforts for playing a big role in educating Kenyans about HIV AIDS back in the 90s. Samia antuku mechesa msiki, kama nyimbo yanga dunia mbaya, meimba wakati ulekua hakuna hata dawa. Watu wengi likuwa masuma tu huu mama wakona ugonjwa. Huu mama ni mgonjwa. Lakini mungu anajua nikuwa metu watu nilete kutumia message pa watu na kiswa hila ata kama ni mbaya mbaya. Lakini kila mtu nasikika huyo nasema nini. Even as she resorts to prospecting for gold in Migori County, the singer believes that God will come to her rescue. Niende kwa Yesu. Fadhali Yesu kuliko vinadamu kama miu. Hmm. Sasa naenda kufrai mungu na malaika wa vinguni mtakatifu. Lakini usio biladamu, usio mkenya. Princess Julie is another example of entertainers whose fortunes have nosedived despite basking in glory back in their heydays. The famous back in the day but quickly forgotten by society. Michelle Ngele, KTN News.